Arg! This just makes it way harder than it has to be. The slight movement speed reduction, the lack of attack speed increase, and essentially not doing as much damage compared to a blitz needle. Whose bright idea was this anyways? It's me. I'm the one who had the bright idea of wanting to do a test run like this. You fool! Hehe. <laughs> Hello everybody, you can call me Bloody, and welcome back to Spire Knights. Time to get back into the old grind of crafting weapons again, as we're almost there. Just only a few more Trojan weapons to craft. Right now we got our hands on an auto gun for a wild buster, and a jelly shield for a wild shell. There, our wild stuff is good to go. How about we go find ourselves some wildlife to test these things out on? We found some bunnies. I hope they like being on the business end of the wildbuster. I was looking for a different type of compound to work with, but this ought to do. We probably could have found some devilites to fight instead, but we can work with this for now. Also, we nearly forgot about the shield bash. There we go. Why is it that the Tordogen weapons can't cause status effects like fire or shock? Just like the big red ones that the Tordogens throw at you whenever you're too far away from them. Well, I mean, it would be nice to have that happen for us, but eh, if we don't have it, what can we do? Heating's done. Forging's done. Let's upgrade our wild Tordogen stuff into some feral Tortajon stuff. We have a feral cannon, perfect for poking anything with our spiky tortoise shells. And a feral shell to resist being poked by piercing attacks. Good, let's do something silly with these things. We're fighting Trojans! as they'll make a great test subject for our feral stuff. I mean, they seem to like it. It's probably not the most effective weapon that we could use against them, but hey, if it works, why not? There we go. Let's get this savage Trojan show on the road. We forgot to shield bash the Trojans. So we'll shield bash this uh, elevator instead. Yeah, that'll show them. All heated up and ready for upgrading. The forging is complete. We're almost done. Our feral cannon gets promoted to a savage tortifist. And our feral shell moves on up into a savage tortoise. That's awesome. Let's finish off our tortajon crafting session by doing something real silly. That's about the only way I can think of putting it. And that's fighting Vanaduke with our Savage Tortifist. Or rather, the final phase of Vanaduke with our Savage Tortifist. It's not like this is my umpteenth attempts at trying to solo Vanaduke with this thing, and subsequently getting absolutely punished by the Vanaduke until our health reaches zero, and then having to restart the Firestorm Citadel mission all over again. If anything, the Vanaduke needs to be punished with the Savage Tortifist by us, not the other way around. Because we worked hard for this. We farmed enough Torta Drones to render them critically endangered, as well as crafting all the other Torta Drone weapons and shields. It's just the process of heating a 4 star shield and weapon within a day or two that took the most time. That's always fun, somehow procrastinating your own made up deadline, and creating more work for yourself in the process. That's awesome. Gotta love it when that happens. The Savage Tortifist might not be as efficient as a Blitz Needle for this thing in terms of damage per second, but we have it crafted, and it was either using this against the Snarball Axe, but then we'd have to deal with the silly Bell mechanic, and I'm not patient enough for that. So instead, we'll just keep punching the Vanaduke in the face with our Savage Tortifist until either one of us drops. This can only go well. Here we go!
Arg! This just makes it way harder than it has to be. The slight movement speed reduction, the lack of attack speed increase, and essentially not doing as much damage compared to a blitz needle. Whose bright idea was this anyways? It's me. I'm the one who had the bright idea of wanting to do a test run like this. You fool! Hehe. <laughs> you fought well, Vatiduke, but you're no match for the unstoppable might of the Torto Drones. Eat this! Go! Savage Torto Drone Fist thing, go! Yeah! We win! Woo! Oh man, that was way too close for comfort. But yeah, we beat the Vanaduke with our Savage Tortofist. Along with our Savage Tortoise as well, but hey, good job. Ugh, that was tiring. I want to go home. But anyways, we did it. We crafted all the Tortodrone stuff. And now we get to spend some time having fun in heating up all this new equipment that's been added into the arsenal. Speaking of which, welcome into the arsenal, Savage Tortofist and the Savage Tortoise. Let's get our treasure and head on home. Who knows what chaos will be up to next. We'll see you then. And that's all that I have to share with you for now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching.